I've gone up against people, you know, I've fallen, I've hit the ground, and I've gotten up um, with little to no pain, pretty much no pain each time. So um, it feels good. It feels pretty stable. Um, you know, obviously it, it takes getting used to, but I feel pretty comfortable with it. Um, the trainer's done a great job with, um, you know, speeding me um, along this process and making sure I feel comfortable each step along the way. So um, I feel good, and I, I feel like, you know, by the time, you know, the training camp comes around, I'll be 100% and, and confident in my shoulder and my game. What's been the number one thing you learned through this process? Um, you learn a lot. You learn a lot about yourself. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, just as a man, just as maturing and growing as a person, you learn a lot. Obviously, you see the game in a different lens when you're hurt. Um, and I think that's something that, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to implement and use to my advantage right away. But um, you learn about mental um, versus physical strength. Um, you learn about the power of the mind and the brain versus, you know, your muscles. Um, and obviously, the mind is, is stronger. So. Uh, you learn a lot of different things when um, you can't do something that you're, you you do so routinely. And um, for me, um, it, it's been a, it's been a great process, and I'm almost kind of happy that it happened. You know, because I learned so much about myself as a player and as a person. And so um, it was a blessing, you know, and a curse, but you know, more of a blessing. Justice, because you're such a versatile player, and you can play the four, and you can play the three, and you can play the two, and you played other positions also as well. How do you prepare for a season when I know Spo says it's positionalist, but there are different assignments along the way. I mean, you could be the power forward this mm -hmm. year, you could be the small forward, you could be shooting guard off the bench. How do you sort of prepare because of your versatility? Um, you know, for me, I, I'm, I'm still trying to be that versatile guy and do everything, but obviously um, I have weaknesses and strengths, and, you know, I'm trying to make my weaknesses, you know, better and also, you know, focus in and stick to my strengths. And so for me, uh, you know, it's about being able to knock down that corner three, being able to be a, a force of nature in transition, um, being able to post up, and then, um, you know, just trying to be the most in shape person on the floor so I can make, you know, the most plays and make those winning plays that, you know, coach, um, you know, preaches, that, preaches about a lot. And so um, for me, it's about just taking that next step offensively and, and defensively, just trying to be, um, you know, a pass, you know, a guy that. You know, guys, you know, don't want to be matched up against. Um, so for me, it's about just becoming more efficient offensively, and you know, concentrating and focusing and, and making, you know, more of those easy ones, and, and letting the rest of the game just come to me naturally. When you come, when you say being a more efficient offensive player, do you think too much is made about the outside shot? Maybe some of it is just shot selection. No, I mean, um, uh, I'm not making excuses, but I was dealing with a lot of things and. I feel like in preseason I was shooting the ball well, shooting how I wanted to shoot it, and um, you know hit some bumps in the road during the regular season. But um, you know, I, honestly, um, I don't I don't pay attention too much of that. You know, my teammates tell me to shoot the ball; they have confidence in me, and um, you know that's all I can ask for. And um, you know, everyone's just telling me to go out there and play my game. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited for for this next chapter. I honestly, feel like this is this is year two for me, um, and not year three. And so I'm um, looking forward to it. What aspects of your game do you feel like kind of held you back with the injury, but you could still work out anyway, w despite having the shoulder injury? Um, you know, just, just getting back to the basics, a lot of form shooting, um, a lot of fundamentals as, as to how to, you know, present the ball and, and finish better around the rim. So um, just, just being hurt, you know, it brings you back to square one. You know, you can't jump from, you know, square one to square 10, and you got to make all those steps um, in increments. And so uh, for me, that's what it was about. You know, I never got too down on myself. I treated my rehab like any other workout, any other conditioning test. You know, I just went after it and, and tried to attack it. And so, um, you know, that's how I got better every day. Did you look at the game a little bit differently just on the bench, not at, so much as a reserve, but trying to learn from watching Yeah, I mean, um, there's a difference. You know, when you're playing and you're, as a player, if, if when you're on the team and, you know, you can play, but, you know, coach isn't giving you the minutes, um, you see the game a certain way. But then when you hurt, you see the game in a completely different way. And um, that's something I'm grateful for, being able to see the game and see different guys' movements, see different gaps and ways to exploit defensive, defenses. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You just see the game differently. I don't know how to describe it, you know. But, you know, when you go from a player to kind of a, a coach role, um, in a sense, um, the game kind of shifts in, in the way you see it. The whole um, Kyrie thing, as being as part of the Duke fraternity, do you sort of feel for him that he's sort of – you know, having to be out there like this, that things become public like that. I mean, is that sort of a personal thing from another Duke guy that you sort of feel for what Kyrie's going through? Um, I 
I'm not sure if I feel for him. Okay. Um, but um, you know, I don't agree with all the some of the hate and some of the things that have been thrown his way. Um, for Kyrie, I know, um, you know, he's a talented player and he's he's done a lot for that team in that role. And I think um, he's almost kind of maximized that role. And I think that's kind of the point that he got to is that he's ready to take that next step. Um, and some people don't agree, some people do agree. Um, but for him, I know that he, he's been waiting for, for this moment to have his own team. So um, I'm happy for him. You know, it, it's not the perfect way it's going down, right. you know, with, you know, all the behind the scenes stuff that, you know, I'm not, I don't even know about. Sure. But um, just for him, just knowing him, you know, he's hit the big shot in the, in the, in the finals. He's won a gold medal. He's won a world championship. He's been an all-star. He's been all-star MVP. So I think uh, when you go down the list, you know, you know, there's not much more, you know, he can accomplish. But I think the thing he is trying to accomplish is leading, leading his own team. In, in his own way, and I think um, I'm happy for him. He's going to get the chance. Hopefully, we'll see, because um, I know it's something that he really wanted. Thank you. Thank you, Justice.